Dividing atoms and opinions. Nuclear fission and radiation. What is nuclear fission? Is radiation dangerous? What should we do with nuclear waste? We hope to start answering these questions in this short video. The word nuclear is almost always featured in the news, sometimes to argue away the development of a new power generation facility, or in a headline to describe something as out of control. The words nuclear and fission have Latin origins from the words meaning the center of a nut and to split or break apart. Nowadays, we use nuclear to refer to the centers of atoms and cells. So we can take nuclear fission to mean splitting the centers of atoms. It's this chain of splitting events in a nuclear reactor that releases energy for the generation of electricity. Did you know that more than one tenth of the world relies on nuclear fission for electricity generation? One pellet of uranium fuel, slightly larger than a coffee bean, produces as much energy as a ton of coal, or enough electricity to make almost 30,000 pots of coffee. A material can be radioactive when the centers of its atoms are unstable. This causes the substance to release invisible particles and rays in an effort to reach stability. The properties of ionizing radiation allow countless technologies to function properly, from imaging and cancer therapy in medicine to household smoke detectors and even the safe sterilization of food in some countries. The food doesn't stay radioactive and it keeps fresh for much longer. In research, we can use X-ray radiation to help us learn about the structure and properties of new materials, allowing us to push technology and engineering forwards. Radiation is everywhere around us. The majority originates naturally from rocks in the ground, outer space, and even in our food. During a visit to the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear accident site, we received a radiation dose which was only a tenth of the dose that we got from cosmic radiation during our flight, which is about the same as receiving a chest x-ray. Radioactive sources can have different energies. The radiation from this natural sample of uranium containing rock is detected by this piece of equipment which counts every radioactive particle that reaches it with a sound. The radioactive particles spread out from the rock in all directions. Notice how the number of counts detected goes down very sharply, even with small increases in the distance from the detector. We can significantly reduce the count rate with a thin piece of aluminium. Once nuclear fuel has been used, it's very radioactive. Research supported by X-ray and associated radiation studies is being carried out to develop materials that can keep nuclear waste stable for thousands of years.